Hello everybody and welcome back to some mega modded Gungeon. Just before we start today's episode, I want to quickly go over the new Thunderstore mod manager, which is the new and improved way to install Enter the Gungeon mods. This is a vast improvement over the old way. It'll be much easier for you to find mods, install them and update them and easier for the creators to uh, put their mods out there and update them themselves. So if you want to go and get yourself this, make sure to go over to thunderstore.io and click on the Thunderstore Mod Manager download link here. This will then take you to this once you've installed it where you can see all the different games that are supported on Thunderstore Mod Manager. We can see Enter the Gungeon here and select it and go to Steam. Once you've done that, you can then select your profile. So I've just got a profile called YouTube here. And once you've selected into your profile, you can then go over your installed mods and then click here to check all the mods that are available online. And as you can see here, you can just see every single mod that is currently available. Now I will say, not all the mods that are available on the normal mod workshop have been updated for the Thunderstore workshop yet. So it's going to be a few weeks, maybe, a, I don't know, a few days to a few weeks before every single one is updated. Currently we're waiting th on things like Enter the Beyond, Planet Side, and uh, Once More Into the Breach. But for now, we're just going to play with what we have available and what has already been updated and also just to sort of go over it's very very easy to um get mods installed and uninstall them and um, so if you want to install a mod you can literally just go over click here and then click on download that will then give you the option to download with all dependencies which means that any mod that it relies on will also be downloaded as well it's a really really nice way of doing it and then when you've got your installed mods here you can just flick on and flick off which whatever ones you want and then once you're ready you can start the game either modded or vanilla so obviously we'll be starting modded here and yeah i'll see you guys in the uh, in the game and here we are in Gungeon. You'll know that if you've got the got it all set up right, if you can see in the bottom right there, it says Bepin EX um, modding API, all that sort of good stuff. That means that you've got it all installed right and everything's working. Uh, and yeah, this is the new way that modding is going to be going forward. Hopefully for a lot of you guys, it'll make it significantly easier to get mods installed. You do not need mod the Gungeon anymore. It's not required. It's all built into the APIs that are uh, part of the new install on Thunderstorm Mod Manager. So there's no need to really faff around. Everything's going to be a lot more simple, a lot easier for you to do. And if you do have any questions about any of the install process or how any of it works, please do feel free to leave uh, comments down below and I'll try and answer them. And if not, some of the other modders in the scene will. I will try and make a more improved um, quality and sort of improved tutorial on how all that works and how to install mods and everything when uh, all the mods have been ported but for now I thought it was a good idea to just put it at the start of an episode so you guys can kind of have a little see of what's currently going on and also to explain why we'll be using a few less mods than normal but don't worry as I said they're getting ported and updated as we go here we should see them all um, end up on the thunderstorm very very shortly but for now let's uh, let's play ourselves some let's play ourselves some good old punch out Gotta love some good old punch out. The timing on that's so nice. Oh, I don't know why I did that there. I'm really bad at this. I, I can't I don't know when I like lost my um lost my vigor for this, but my god. I'm so bad at it now. <laughs> it's just I used to I used to go to the rat really often and now I just very rarely go anymore. So we get to start out with a few good punches. Damn it, how did that hit me? I blocked. Do an attack that- Oh my god, he's not doing the right attacks at all here. Oh, come on, dude. Do an attack where I can punch you, please. There you go. He, he was one hit off. This is going to take forever now, isn't it? Oh, and I missed that one. It's okay, I'll get it. He is just doing Tail Whip right now, which is kind of good, actually. Boom. Get a big punch in there. Okay, we are very, very close to death here, so I'd imagine we're gonna die. Okay, I don't know how to block this, so... Oh, I did it. We'll see, we'll see. It might go okay, it might not. I'm gonna say it probably won't. Where I blocked that, I thought. Okay, it doesn't matter. Anyways, we died. I'm not very good at punch out. It's very, very clear. Anyways, we'll move on with our run. It's a little sad that you get zi you get don't get anything 
when you fail that. I kind of get it, but paying 100 hegemony credits and getting zero for it is a pretty sad. It'd be nice if you just got kind of like half of the uh, of the loot reward. Because getting absolutely nothing feels like a, a swift kick to the nuts, I'll be honest. Oh, we got the skeleton head and the skeleton. That's so cute. But yeah, we're going to be jumping in. As I said, there's less mods on than we would normally see. Uh, I do have a planet side in dev version, but I don't have that currently installed. Um, I, I need to go through and install that. I haven't done that right now. So I apologize to Bunny for not being able to see that. <laughs> I'll get it. Uh, I'll get it in for the next episode. But I just wanted to get an episode out and about. Get one ready. And see how we go. Yeah, so, so far so good. I'm really, really happy with the um, with the progress and the speed that the modders have taken on with this uh, with this transition. Basically, Never Named mentioned it to me as like an as like a floated idea a good while ago. Like, hey, people are thinking of maybe um, maybe moving over modding to the Thunderstore and Beppin, and I was like, oh, okay, that sounds kind of interesting, and like, within a week, it was done. <laughs> like, that was only, like, the first, the first iteration of it being floated as an idea, at least to me, um, and then it was done, and as it's just awesome to see, um, do we have, we have gun boots as well, okay, um, yeah, it's just, it, it, it's really awesome to see that the speed that it happened, and it was really, it was a necessary thing, it's, it, it really is, like, unfortunate that it didn't happen sooner. As much as Gungeon Modding was okay as it was, it was quite inaccessible. And I think that that's why the Gungeon Modding scene, compared to other games, really hadn't grown as much. I apologize, I'm a bit hiccupy. But yeah, I think that's really why it hadn't grown as much as maybe some of the other modding scenes had. Um, and so it was uh, It was really nice to see that, um, that now it's hopefully got what it needs, it's got what it takes to, to bring on some of that growth. And that would be really awesome to see, because as much as um, as much as I, I do truly love all the stuff that's been currently done in modding and all the modders themselves, it would be nice to see some fresh blood and see some new people. I mean, for those of you that haven't uh, sort of realized, this this mod here that adds the, um, wherever it is, the, that adds the new weapon wheel and the new stats hood was, comple was completed and like created by someone that was completely new. To the modding scene uh just came in dropped to absolutely shit hot mods and yeah it's, it's awesome to see so seeing more innovation and stuff like that would be awesome as well as continuous work on some of the bigger packs that are already out there like once more into the breach into the beyond all that great stuff that we've been playing for a while now and obviously all those mods are uh are developing and progressing nicely as well i mean there's been some really interesting stuff going on with planet side i know beyond's got uh some some stuff in the works and the 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 boss is gonna get sort of finalized pretty soon and then special api actually has some really interesting stuff as well mark of the wind i never remember what that does uh planet ring room time is briefly slowing down nice um we should probably go to an alt path here we have four keys um yeah, I'm gonna say I know Special API is doing some some interesting stuff now. It is shrouded in secrecy from what I've seen. Um, there's a, there's a door that spawns on the uh, on the forge that we know basically nothing about, and I don't think he's willing to tell people yet. So that's kind of interesting. I'm hoping that's get, that gets updated slash revealed soon, so we know what we're in for because it could be could be some really cool stuff. Ah. I just want to speed run through the hole. Damn it. But oh, we're through. We are through. Now, where we go? Into the hollow tree. I love the way that you enter this floor. It's so cool. <laughs> that, was, that was Apache's idea, and it is just fantastic. It's just such a cool way to get into this floor. Oh, and then I forgot about the awesome music. Hell yes. It's beautiful. I don't know why, but it reminds me of Starbound. I haven't actually played Starbound, but I've heard a lot of the music from it. Just because the music from Starbound is amazing. Uh, and it really reminds me of Starbound. Did anyone else get those vibes? Really nice. It's just so chill. It's such a chill tune to kill things to. I'm 
where it's like the titles where it's like beats to study and relax to. This is like beats to kill things to. <laughs> that was a terrible formation of a joke there, but it got there in the end, kind of. I got there in the end and it kind of flopped. But hey, hey, her. The slow down time thing's pretty insane. Now we got it as a boss item, so I don't actually know the quality of the item, but I'd imagine it's an A quality item. Also, this is a great weapon for this floor. Lots of these low health enemies easy to take out. Of course, the ammo is slightly, slightly a problem, but let's not worry about that right now. Okay, so for big boy, let's get out the skelly bob. We're all out of skelly bob ammo now. Damn. Does it slow down every single room? I think it does. I just didn't hear the noise on that last room. That's one problem with this, though. Unfortunately, it does cause some spawn issues. Oh, hello. There's a... There's one of you in here. I made this room, and I don't remember that. But then again, I ain't gonna remember all of them. Shop time. Hey, quest log is really good. Let's see what our quest is. Buy one item. Done. We got our quest reward. We got some junk. Great. Okay, hopefully we can build it up and get our next quest pretty soon. What's down here again? Damage. Okay. I couldn't remember. Okay, we are back. We are good to go. Where am I? Oh, I'm there. Ah, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> For some reason, I thought I was at a different location in the room. I wasn't paying enough attention. Damn it. We are still vibing to these absolute tunes and hoping for the best here. Yeah, I have been hit a little bit too much. Um, this floor is generally a bit harder, so I might get hit. I mean, it's not too much harder than the Ubliet, but I still... Might get hit a few more times just because I'm unfamiliar with the rooms. I haven't played this floor quite as much, so I don't know them quite as well as I know the Oubliette. But we'll get there, we'll get there. Still love this floor a lot. And we get some health anyway, so what does it matter? But honestly, with four keys in our pocket, I'm I'm so ready. But it do do do. I, I swear I could have this this tunage as my morning alarm and I would wake up delighted every morning. It's just so pleasant. It's so pleasant. <laughs> Huge props to the um to the artist that created this and the Belly of the Beast one as well. I don't think they did one for Old West, I can never remember. But yeah, it's awesome to see that Expand is one of the um Hey, we got a rock. Expand is one of the uh, mods that actually got updated pretty early on. It's really cool to see, because obviously it is a mod that I am quite fond of. Um, I think it's very, very good. So it's always awesome to have it. And I I think as well, so from what I know, I think Expand's going to get updated pretty soon. Planetside is already updated, but not quite finished, because um, Bunny's still trying to finish his final like part of his big update so that's coming soonish and enter the beyond is also in the final stages from what i know as well so they shouldn't be too far behind um and then as well um there's there's no word on on when it would release it could actually be months who knows but um never named as he's probably said in a, a few of the previous videos he's not had his laptop for a while and so basically he's not been able to mod which means he's basically just been creating sprite work for a bunch of different guns and familiars and all sorts of stuff and he's created a lot and i mean a lot so he's gonna have a lot to work with and probably do quite a lot of modding when he gets his pc back considering it's been a few months um and probably end up creating a fairly large update um, there is also another mod in the works, which is kind of an interesting one. Uh, essentially, it's going to help to balance the um, weights and the distributions of different items from different mods. Essentially making it so something like Once More Into the Breach doesn't dominate the item pool, from what I understand. Um, 
because obviously that mod has significantly more items than something like Planet Side. But at the same time, you still want to be able to see things from Planet Side and other mods too. Uh, you don't want them to get too overshrouded. So um, there's going to be something that kind of balances out the item weight sort of thing, which hopefully should mean I get a, get to give a fair representation and a fair opportunity to each of the mods to get showcased in the videos. Because that's one thing I love about these episodes. It gives you guys a look into... Um, a lot of the different items from different mods and stuff so getting a nice even representation it might not be a mod that i keep on every episode because honestly i really like never named stuff so i'm not going to be uh, displeased if it shows up a lot but at the same time especially when there's new releases of different mods i want to put it on from time to time and make sure we get uh, an even bit from everywhere sort of thing Let's see if we get a synergy here we did um to a gun boots right I don't actually know what it's doing. I, uh, I think it just makes it so there's no cooldown. It looks like it makes it so there's just no cooldown. Normally there's a cooldown on gun boots. Obviously we can fire it twice, but that's not new. Oh, there you are. Got him with a gun boots. Right, let's go and do our boss. Honestly... Not a great situation to be fighting our boss on, to be honest. I'm going to throw a rock at him. <laughs> I don't think that did much. There you go. I should probably um, utilize gun boots if I can. But I don't want to make a habit of it, cause as you just saw, I got hit there. But the damage that it puts out is pretty decent, so... The snake is not in a great position here. It's okay. Oh, God. It, that, that explosion knocked me into the boss there. That's just unfair contact damage. This boss definitely needs a bit of a health nerf. I've, I've noticed that. I've been... Hutt's kind of mentioned it in his, his stream. And ever since then, I've definitely felt that he is incredibly correct. <laughs> this thing has so much health, it's insane, especially considering it spawns other enemies. You're not even shooting at the boss the majority of the time. Where are you? Oh, you're up there. I've taken a lot of damage to this boss. Can I use the moon scraper a little bit here? Yeah, like this thing's doing a pathetic amount of damage right now. Stop spawning snakes, they're too strong. We got her with the gun boots. Huzzah, huzzah. And another boot. <laughs> it's all it's all feet from here. One second. It's all feet from here on out. Anyways, let's get going. Our health is looking absolutely fine now, anyways. Um, I'm wondering why we we haven't got the opportunity to use our quest log again yet. I'm not quite sure why that is. Maybe we need to buy more stuff from the shop for it to work, because our last quest was buying stuff. Or maybe I've just not been paying attention. No, it's still it's still not active. I'm not quite sure why. Let's see if I can drop it. Okay, dropping it did work. <laughs> buy two items this time around. Okay, if the game would like to give me just any ammo, that would be real nice. Keep moving. So just remember, if it glitches out again, we just need to... Uh, we just need to drop it and pick it back up again and it'll fix. To be honest, this isn't a bad weapon to be doing this floor with. To be honest, it really isn't. But I would like some ammo. I mean... I did ask. I did ask. <laughs> I feel like I have to take that deal, considering I literally did just ask for exactly that. Refills all of our weapons, which honestly, considering we've only got three weapons that can be filled, isn't all that much, but hey her. We'll take it. Let's check the shop first. 69 casings. No, I don't want any more. Damn it. 
Oh, god damn, the shops are arse today. Um, and then we can go and take out whatever mini boss this might be. It won't be a planet side one, actually. I was just, I was just thinking, oh, which planet side mini boss could this be? No, no, no. It ain't none. Also, we don't have mini boss HP bars at the minute, because that mod hasn't been ported yet. Be awesome to see that one ported. I can't remember who makes that one. I think that one's by Golden Revolver. I don't think he's ported any of their. Uh, he or she, sorry, has ported any of their mods yet. I don't know. Ooh, hello, fella. So we need to buy two items. So I guess we buy this. And this. Our quest is complete. Use one blank. Quest assigned. We got our reward. It was ammo that we don't need. Huzzah! Did I just get quest assigned to use one blank again? Why is this thing firing skulls now? Oh, that's what the blob item does. I forgot about that. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. God damn it, the spawn glitch always gets me. You're going down, big boy. You're going down. Oh, that was close. Oh, almost fell in. Damn it! Wasting my damn ammo, spawn glitch. Not much that can be done about it, to be fair. It's not any developer in particular's fault or anything, I don't think. Is that? Yes! It's my boy! Holy, it's been a long time. Oh, and we get a raccoon the room after? Hell yes, that's two upgrades for this boy already. He is looking quite dapper. Oh, that ammo doesn't disappear. That's good to know. Quest for all ammo doesn't disappear, apparently. Was not expecting that, but a very welcome addition. You are jammed. I see. Don't worry, though. My skeleton burns will burn you. A lot of the enemies don't seem to be affected by the slow so much. They just move a bit. They move a bit slower, but they don't, like, not shoot. Okay, no, that one shot slower. I don't know. Sometimes they're not shooting slower. Sometimes they are. I don't know what that's, what that's about. Right, give me more raccoons, game. Oh, ho, ho. He's, he's getting up there already. He's getting up there already. We love him. My junkie boy. It's been so long since I've had a junk and run. Goddamn. Oh, what? Oh, there's a, there's, there's a room attached to his room. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I was like, how is the map not complete? <laughs> there's a room attached to your room, you fool. Do you know what? That's actually better than the... The quest log is good clear five rooms, but being able to steal is precious. We could steal the rat key if we wanted. I haven't stolen the rat key in a while. Why not? I haven't done the rat in a while, to be fair. Um, Where's our ammo? Here it is. Right, boss time. I think I'll stick with Skelly Bob, to be honest. I think he's going to be pretty good for the boss fight. And yeah, a Junkin boss fight, uh, a Junkin rat fight, sorry, sounds interesting. We can maybe get into max rank if we're lucky before the fight. It's not super likely, but it is plausible if we get two junk on the next floor. Nice little flawless there as well. And we get the JK. I bet it's the JK. Oh, it's the normal AK. Holy hell. I'm actually very happy with the normal AK. Come to me. And we're back up to 69 casings. Let's go. Let's go. Back up to 69 casings. That's exactly what we like to see. 
exactly what we like to see. Do 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 do. Let's go. Let's go. Damn it, AK is gonna be a decent, a decent all rounder for us here. We got the rat room already here, so let's uh, use our key before we forget. Very nice. Just slaps it on the map for us. Makes it much easier to remember. Go, oh, my junky boy. I wonder if we'll get golden junk. I haven't had mecha junkin in a long, long while. Modding definitely makes junkin way harder to get. <laughs> I feel. Do the spin attack. My good lad. My good liege. I love the way he spin. Okay. You won't just get like a black chest this floor as well. Okay, AK's AK is kind of running low. I say, I say running low, we've got half ammo left, but still it's gone through it fairly quick. The jammed fella's going down, although not very quickly. Duncan can deal with the guys on that side. He's a little slow right now. Once we get him leveled up, I think he gets flight and gets a bit of speed. That's where we need him at. Need him to be a speedy boy. Honestly, the spin attack does so much damage. Go! Oh! <laughs> yes. There you go. The White Knight Junkin. This guy can blank for us. This the, the, the second le the, like second to last level is actually like really good. He can also like sacrifice himself to uh, revive us too. But max level Junkin is uh is is too good to not to not take. He gets flight and uh, gets some crazy damage. And he can fire at range too, so he can hit enemies over gaps, even if he doesn't want to fly. We definitely need some better weapons here. Ooh, the beam's actually really good with the, uh, the blob thing. Got some goop some action going on here. Oh, the weird egg. You don't say. The weird egg is insane. Um, I will just buy some keys though. The weird egg is insane, but I will just buy some keys. Which I don't actually need, but... I might need later on, because if I if I get a piece of junk here, then I'm not going to need any more, uh, and I'm not going to need to break any more chests. Also, why would I not take this ammo? It is the obvious choice. Right, I was hoping for a junk this floor. It would be amazing. <gasps> you bastard of a game. How could you do this to me? Come on now, don't don't be like that mean to me. All I need is a single piece. It's always when you do want it that it doesn't give you it. Where is it? Where's the chest? Where the hell is my chest? Dude, no, it's a mimic! Fuck you! No junk for us. That's too sad. Also, that was rude. Flame hand, go. Hoping for a random chest drop or finding a random chest here. I could go looking for secret room as well, but that seems like a lot of effort. I guess I could check this room at least. Damn. Unlucky. Right, fight the boss and then do not go to the next floor. 
I might try the Moonscraper against the boss. Nah, it doesn't really work the way I was hoping it would. I thought it'd fire just a ton of skulls. Didn't fire any. It's doing decent enough damage, but... Yeah, honestly, junk and blanking things is just so precious. Look at that. He comes in clutch. He's like, hey, don't you do it to my friend. He, does, he is a bit preemptive sometimes with his blanking. Sometimes he blanks when he clearly didn't need to, but I'm not going to judge him for that. Like, he'll probably blank this. Yeah, there you go. He's like on a timer, basically any shot that comes near me after that amount of time, he'll just blank regardless whether I needed him to or not. Like that look. <laughs> that shot was nowhere near me. So we, we, don't have an, we don't have incredible damage right now, I will say that. We got the power glove, which I, is good, but I don't think it's going to be that good for the rat. Down we go. So, yeah, I guess I'll keep using the moon scraper here. There you go. And down we go. Down, down, down. Right. Oh, I need to remember what my uh, my damn password is. I can't remember what it is. I'm an Omicron. Items. Where are the notes? Are they all the way at the bottom? Okay, they're here. Right. Up, right, 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 left. Up, right. Up, right. Wait, no. Up, right. Left, right, right, left. Up, right, left, right, right, left. Up, right, left, right, right, left. That's, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna misremember that. Up, right, left, right, right, left. Up, right, left, left, right, right, left. Okay, I'll try and remember that. So up. I'm just gonna focus on the what, what I need to focus on right now. I thought if I win, I was close in this. Right. Oh, this is a good weapon for this. Oh, it must be based on the amount of enemies in the room, because I fired tons of skulls. So I went right, left, right, right, left. Jammy boy. Them gem fellas. <gasps> you! Why are you such a shithead game? Like, what? Actually, why? What is the need to be such a gigantic piece of poo? Annoys me profusely. You gave me the opportunity to be a golden star. Instead, you were a piece of turd. Ta-da, we did it. I guess Skelly Bob is the best way to go. Like, this Junkin's still going to be good for this fight. That's, that's no contest. He's still going to be useful. But, you gave me the opportunity. You, you showed me the keys to the kingdom, and then you took a poo in my lunch. Oh, that was bad. 
Can you like go away, please? There you go. He's getting a bit too close to me, though. It's a little horrible. I could smell his cheesy feet. I love the noise that makes. What the? What? I cannot make the noise with my mouth. I will not try again. I promise. Okay, not bad. Not bad. First phase, pretty good going. The second phase is in arguably easier, so we should be okay here. It does take a little longer, though. I do forget that this version of Junkun does do a significant amount of damage. And he blanks, too. So. And he can save my life if I need him to. But as you can see, damage from our current weapons... It's, it's alright, but it's not amazing. Oh, that was a bad hit. Skeleton's doing not too bad. Okay. Over to the AK. Flame Hand's probably better than the AK, to be honest. But I like the AK a lot. Oh, the AK's out of ammo? Did that? They're not filled the AK earlier? Okay, I guess we are using the flame hand then. I thought we filled the AK earlier. We did not. Things are gonna get a little tricky. Why do I keep rolling towards it? That's such a bad idea. I don't know why I'd do that. Flame Hand's doing a decent job here. Eee, him blanking that is just easy mode. Okay. He's setting up a good amount of fire. Thank you, Junkin, for doing that for me. Didn't mean to get hit there, it's fine. Honestly, we've got so much armor that I'm not worried, but... <laughs> that rocket attack has hit me every time now. Damn it. Okay, full screen rat fight. Crazy. Snow bullets, awesome. No thank you, sir. There you go. Singularity as well, not bad. I can never stop him eating the cheese, goddammit. He always eats the cheese. Always go for the super punch straight away to get that, like, lock that damage in. Boom! We got angry bullets there as well by the looks of that. Beautiful. God, robots' legs are so skinny, they're kind of disgusting. <laughs> they look so weird. Nice. Can we get the kill here? I think we can. Don't eat the damn cheese. It heals me so much. Nice. Stop eating the damn cheese. <laughs> I ain't got time for this bullshit. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I always forget you can't finish him with the box. Doesn't work. Dude, come on. Like I said, you can't finish him with the box, so... Uh... Okay, we finally got him. That took a while. Oh, goddamn. How stressful. Five seconds left. We got this, the emerald. I'll take Singularity, why not?
Kick. Kick. We got some kind of dagger. Right, first of all, I want to see what the emerald does, because that seems interesting. Grants poison immunity stolen by the resourceful rat from ind indestructible chest. Interesting. Seems seems ominous. Homing bullets. Okay, that wasn't angry bullets. And then we got killing him releases a swarm of homing daggers. Very good. And I think that mixed with snow bullets will be insane. Anyways, let's keep moving down. Excuse me. Ah. I want to kick him this way, but I'm having a really hard time with it. Damn it, you have to actually open this to use the body. Eat him. Okay, I'm not giving you my junk, so you can, you can think again, sunshine. Um, hmm. I guess you can have this. It's kind of worthless to me now. And then, boom. There's also a rat sack. Why the hell not? Let's go. Junkin? Okay. <laughs> I was like, he's taking his sweet time. Oh, that's the that's the floor skip. I don't know why they included that. I don't know why anyone would want to skip a floor. <laughs> I don't know why anyone would want to skip a floor, to be honest. Right, okay. So... Yeah, I'm interested to see how the daggers work with snow bullets. Were them daggers in the shapes of burns? <laughs> I hope they were. That was pretty cool. They might be? I can't tell. Who knows? There's some stuff going on there. This is good. I like it. Dagger bones. Let's see what happens if I do it with an arrow. Oh, there's an enemy behind me? No? Okay, no, they're just daggers. They're just daggers. Snow bullets is definitely a big bonus for us here. Kinda wanna use a different gun now, but I don't know what. We've not really got great weapons. Like this, 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 this bad boy's great, but otherwise, oh, the incrementum, incrementum's amazing. Incremental, even. Really good. It's one of my favourite items from um, from Sophia's items. Basically, the lower into the mag you get, the more damage it does, to the point of absurdity. It's very good. Basically, reward you for not re reloading. Trying to utilize every last bit of the magazine. Yes. I love all these ho homing swarms of daggers. But yeah, it's kind of weird to see all these items that I haven't seen in a really long time. Some El Classicos. I'm wondering if the emerald has anything to do with the diamond that appears um, later on in the forge. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a go because it seems like it would. And it seems like something that drops every single time from um, from the rat as well, by the sounds of the description. This thing is running out of ammo pretty fast, unfortunately. Hey! <laughs> Perfect timing. Right, are you going to give me the junk that I need? Yes, you are. Huzzah! He is born. 
my sweet son of child. What a beauty. And also, he gains our uh, tier effects too, our item effects. So, he's going to get snow bullets, as you can see. He's going to get herming, all that sort of good jazz. And we can actually start opening chests now as well. Look at that. Look how big the shots are. What? Got the battery bullet trail on there as well. Why the hell not? shop time. We've got quite a lot of money. And of course, it's worthless. I will pay you a little bit though, because the next floor can get a bit pricey. We'll do one more. Thank you. Just so we can maybe afford some of the more pricey items on the next floor. Depending on how many of those end up being available to us. Oh god. There's some shenanigans going down in this room. <laughs> this really should be a weapon we use for bosses, but I'm enjoying it so much using it for room clearing. Just a fun weapon to use. It's like very average in terms of how it fires and stuff like that, but its effect is just really cool. It's just a basic item that I really love. I always appreciate that. More ammo, hell yes. Ooh, a great weapon for the boss. I could maybe try and use the nail gun, to be honest. Could end up being kind of good. Do you know what? You bitch. T-shirt cannon. Okay, so for the boss now, I think we want to use the genie. I haven't used Magic Lamp in a while. I think, honestly, Junkin's going to do a, a, a vast majority of the work here. We'll pretend like we're contributing. Okay, this was good. <laughs> we did a lot of damage there. Nice. And we get fire bullets as a reward. Nice. We probably should go and feed a little bit more to you. Just because we have it available there. Why the hell wouldn't we? Nice. Okay. To the next floor we go. And we got 3.14 casings too. All the good numbers. We got sexy number. And then we got pie. Then we got pie. Right. Keep it going. Okay. Probably don't want to use that, this weapon now. Um, honestly, this is probably a, a, our best room clearer right now. At least one I'm going to enjoy the most. Beautiful. I mean, Junkin is, is, is our real room clearer right now. We don't got to worry about much else other than him. Oh, damn. Right, where's that shop at? Also, where's that diamond at? I'm going to take a quick pause after this uh, room. Come on, there. Sorry about that. My side has inexplicably started hurting, and I'm not sure why. So, I'm just going to ignore it for now. <laughs> I went and sort of had a drink and stood up and walked around for a bit, because I thought maybe I'd been sat down too long. I don't know. <laughs> but I guess we'll find out if I die by the end of the episode, and then we'll know if it's something serious. Otherwise, assume nothing is wrong. Why is the human body so fickle and shit? <clears throat> Why does it just randomly, like, say, hey, pay him. I'm not going to give you any specifics. Just pay him. Lol. Get wrecked. 
all the info you need. It hurts. I'm going to tell you why. There's no diagnosis report. It's just broken. Debug yourself. Skelly time. Bring him back now, y'all. Right, question is, are we actually ready to fight the Advanced Dragon? Because I don't really know if we are. I haven't fought him in a really long time, so... <laughs> we shall see. I'm hoping the shop plus the items we get on this floor end up being pretty good. We haven't had a black chest or red chest yet, so I'm hoping we get one this floor as well. Is that a cultist for the Kimbos? That's crazy. We got this, whatever this is. Support contract. Summons a temporary group of bullet kin to aid you in battle. Interesting. I like the idea of that. Also, we got the diamond. Which says a reward, which I think... Doesn't the doesn't the the ruby all uh, the thingy also say that a reward? Yeah. Hmm. There's obviously a mystery going on with these things that I haven't quite worked out yet. I don't know if it's a fully implemented mystery is the problem. It might not. It might be something that isn't actually fully in the game yet. <gasps> Scrambler. Hell yes. Armor, hell yes. Blank, hell yes. Very, very happy with this Grambler. Whoa, this thing's getting thick. And it's getting bendy too. I wasn't expecting it to be so good right now, but it's proving to be. It's thick and bendy. Who would have thought? And it's red. It glows like hot, hot fire. It's actually really good. <laughs> this thing's kind of slapping. It slappeth good. Okay, still got one more chest room to see here. Hopefully it does a good job for us. Hey, here's the boss room. Okay, last little loop. And we are good to go. Ah. Beautiful. Just a bulletin room. Oh, so when these are slowed down, they're a piece of piss. Even the bendy laces are hitting things. It's beautiful. Okay. Last chest. Sticky crossbow ain't bad. And we got this room. So I'm guessing it's maybe something to do with this door. We'll find out, I guess. Right, uh, I think Scrambler and the contract. Actually, let's let's save Scrambler for the second phase. Let's start with the uh, the genie lamp. Spawn my bullet kin in. Although, just noticed the um, the bullet kin seems to be able to be hit by my genie lamp, which isn't great. <laughs> Doesn't seem super effective for me. Kind of funny though. Oh my god, the singular is going wild. Junkin's also all the way up his ass. 
I don't know what weapon's going to be best for the heart. Oh shit, of course it doesn't matter about the heart. Stupid. <laughs> He's just going to eat the snake. Yeah, I think Singularity is going to be very important here. And then followed up by that to knock it flying. That is not the way I thought... happened? Hey, we unlocked Holy Grail. <laughs> yeah, what What the hell just happened there? <laughs> I really have no idea. Anyways, we're going to leave it off there. I'm not going to do bullet hell this time around because I want to eat. <laughs> it's been a long run. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this one nonetheless. Absolutely a blast of a run. Weird end kill there. And yeah, please go and check out the Thunderstorm. Make sure to get all your mods on the Thunderstorm launcher from now on. It would be greatly greatly appreciated by all of the modders out there and it would improve your modding experience overall either way hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one